This legal brief is applicable to all forces participating in this exercise. Exercise play will be subject to entirely different rules of engagement and rules of conduct as outlined in the Exercise Rules of Operation, or XRU. The scope is displayed on screen. CDF Standing Rules of Engagement, Serial 5, are the normal peacetime ROE that apply to all ADF personnel participating in this exercise. These ROEs only permit the use of force in self-defence. You may only use force where it is necessary to protect you or another person from a physical threat. You must have an honest and reasonable belief that someone is actually using physical force against you or another person, or the use of such force is imminent and there is no other way to stop that threat. Any force used must be proportionate to the threat. You must only use the minimum force necessary to stop or prevent the threat. Where the circumstances allow, graduate your force. Once the threat is gone, your right to use force in self-defence ends. Lethal force may only be used in circumstances where you have an honest and reasonable belief that the actual or imminent threat is likely to cause death or serious injury to you or another person. And the use of lethal force is your only reasonable option to stop or prevent that threat. You are authorised to take necessary action to protect property and equipment from loss, damage or destruction. This includes your own personal property and all military property and equipment. If you are required to use force to protect property and equipment, follow the sequence displayed on screen. Under Australian law, there is no right to use lethal force to prevent loss, damage or destruction of property. In limited circumstances, you have the right to stop, question and search persons in the vicinity of exercise areas. You are to follow the lawful directions of service or civilian police to assist them in the exercise of their powers. You have the right to deny entry into exercise areas to unauthorised persons. Australian law and the CDF Standing ROE Serial 5 permit members of the ADF to arrest persons who are found trespassing on defence land. The Actions On for encountering protesters or trespassers is covered in the Force Protection Brief. Visiting coalition forces are subject to specific legal arrangements. These arrangements set out the rights and privileges applicable to visiting coalition forces. This includes arrangements for the importation of equipment and supplies, carriage and use of weapons, vehicles, vessel and aircraft, and the arrangements for what law applies while they are in Australia. US and New Zealand forces are subject to extant status of forces agreements while operating or on exercise in Australia. UK forces are governed by the Defence Visiting Forces Act of 1963. Generally, coalition forces remain subject to their own chain of command and their own national military discipline system. The DFDA does not apply to coalition forces. COMSEC and OPSEC monitoring of ADF personnel is likely to occur during the conduct of this exercise. This is authorised under Australian law. Personal information collected is handled in accordance with the requirements of the Privacy Act. Members are required to finalise outstanding legal issues prior to deploying on exercise. <laughs>